Hey guys, Jamie here. Welcome to another gameplay vlog. I upload, I've decided I'm gonna upload these on Tuesdays, but I'm gonna record them on Monday mornings, mainly because, you know, um, felt like recording them on Monday mornings. So anyway, today we're playing, um, this, this takes you back, doesn't it? Today we're playing Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets uh, on PS2. Sometimes in these gameplay vlogs, I'll just, yeah, I, I just play whatever, really. And yeah, that, this is one thing I love about this game, right? This game, not only do you get like wizard, uh, or you get like chests where you can get wizard cards, but some of them are locked off until you get certain spells. And then once you do the challenges and you get those spells, it's really satisfying for going to that box that's been sealed for ages and getting open. It's really satisfying. That's what, that's one reason why this is my favorite Harry Potter game. Besides Philosopher's Stone on PS1, but I actually sat down. And I was playing that yesterday, and uh, I got all, I played, I sat down in the morning, by the time I finished, I was at the chess, I was at the chess board thing near the end of the game. So, yeah. But we're just going to be running about here, uh, just looking for stuff to do, really. Hello, Snape. What do you have to say? Are the dungeons open? Ah, yeah, once you unlock certain areas of the castle, you can actually just freely explore wherever you want. Also, one thing that annoys me about this game, why is Hufflepuff purple? Like, why do Hufflepuff wear purple? They never wore purple in the books, or the movies. It's just kind of weird. And Aragog in this game? That's something I don't understand, because why is he a boss fight? We didn't fight him in the book. Aragog never attacked Harry in the book or the movie. So why is he a boss fight? That doesn't make sense. And I know there's a chest in here somewhere. Where is it? Have I opened it? Yeah, there it is. And yeah, that's one reason why I refuse to ever beat this game again, is Aragog. Is, um... I can only imagine how funny it would be if Ron was there with you during the cutscene. Because Ron was there with Harry in the movie, so why why does Harry just go there by himself? Why doesn't Ron come along with him? The lazy little prat. And yeah, can you hear, can, listen to that, can you hear my PS2 trying to run this game? Can you hear that? Either that's not a healthy PS2, my PS2 actually really struggled to run this. But yeah, this is one of my favorite. Actually, I'm gonna spoil it again. This and Wrath of Cortex are this and Wrath of Cortex are the only two games I'm spoiling for whenever I eventually get around to doing my top ten PS2 games again. Because I'm not really fond of the original top fifteen PS2 games I did. I really just took whatever games I liked at that time, like whatever games I liked at that time, twenty seventeen. I just chucked them into the top fifteen. I don't really like that video, so I'm gonna do it again. Those games that I genuinely really love. Ten games that I really like that I think deserve to be in my top ten. And I've decided to limit myself to one football game. Just one. Out of all of them. And yeah, that's what's really satisfying about this game. Once you unlock certain spells, you can go to that treasure chest you've been trying to... That's the kitchens, I think. Once you unlock... Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Come on, Harry. Okay, what? Hang on. Come on, run the game. Come on. There we go. That was uh, odd. I think, the, I think the disc stopped spinning for a second. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah. We're just going to be exploring all the classrooms and stuff and looking for wizard cards in this video. Nothing much. Just a fun little video playing Harry Potter on PS2. This takes you back, doesn't it? This takes me back to my last play whenever I play this game. Just thinking of fighting Aragog. I, I, I don't want to ever beat this game ever again. And Aragog is... If Aragog wasn't in this game, I would happily play this start to finish any time. But I play it from the start up until the Aragog fight. And then that's where I stop. So, uh, yeah. Also, Neville, look at this. Hey, Harry, that was brilliant. I've been in the Chamber of Secrets and everything. 
I know I couldn't have done it. Actually, if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stuck behind that tapestry. Stuck behind the tapestry? It's a tapestry. Just pull. Like, that was probably the most pointless mission in the whole game. Hermione dragged Harry out of bed, forced him to go to the library and get a book. Get an entire new spell book just to get Neville out from behind a tapestry when Hermione easily could have just saved Harry all the trouble and just done that herself. She could she could have easily just done that herself. Easily. Instead of forcing Harry out of bed in the middle of the night to sneak around the library. Like the stuff that Harry's like, I'm surprised Harry hasn't broken up with these people with the stuff they put up there. Dragging him out of bed every night. Hey, a wizard card. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna put Scourge on there because it's the middle of the day, so I'm not really gonna need Lumo Summer. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, Scourge gets rid of that green stuff. As I said, once you get the um, the spells, it's really satisfying to find boxes that have been locked, to find boxes that have been locked off, and then you can open, then you can get at them with that spell and find wizard cards in them. It's really satisfying. But yeah, um, and then Prisoner of Azkaban, I don't know. Guys, leave this down in the comments. Should I, once I get the, the once I get a new copy of Prisoner of Azkaban, should I finish the last play or just restart it? Because I don't want to have to restart another. I think I might just finish it off. Because I, I, I do still have the save file. It's still on, it's still on my my memory card. I do still have the save file for that let's play. It's still on my memory card. So yeah, I just gonna do a bit of exploring here. I know there's a secret passage in here somewhere. No hang on, this is yeah, I've already opened that box, so yeah. And also all the doors in this secret passageway are not openable, which is kinda pointless. And here's one of the only things I don't like about this game. The load screens. They're everywhere. But yeah, this is one of my favourite Harry Potter movies of all time. This movie. And the scene with Aragog, you're not, you're not going to believe this, actually doesn't bother me that much anymore. Because I've seen it that many times, it doesn't really bother me. Plus Ron's face just kind of makes it funnier. I mean, it is still creepy. I mean, it's... A cave full of humongous spiders, which yeah, there's a cave full of spiders in Tomb Raider in Tomb Raider 2, which when I first heard that, I actually just used the level skip code and skipped that because I am not fighting giant spiders. Okay, the ones in Underworld, the ones in Tomb Raider Underworld didn't really bother me that much, um, because they jumped out at you for about five seconds, you killed them, and then just moved on. They weren't really that much of a threat. I wouldn't call Underworld a favourite of mine. It's Underworld is a great game, but not one of my favourites. Um, I think I would probably put Tomb Raider... I think at Legend and Anniversary are two of my favourite games ever made. But in terms of favourites, I think I would say Legend is probably my favourite Tomb Raider game. Hey, Goodbye, Neville. <laughs> he hasn't even noticed I'm gone. He's too busy rambling. <laughs> He's too busy rambling about the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Speaking of tapestries. Oh yeah, that's I think that's from the third floor or the fourth floor leading down here. There's some really cool secret passageways in this game. Alright, let's head on to charms. Yeah, this is one of my favourite PS2 games. I'm, I'm gonna if I've said that too much I'm gonna stop saying that. So yeah, Liverpool won uh, football at the weekend. Liverpool won uh, 4-0. Do I have the Aloha Moore spell? I think it's a secret passageway where you can get a load of beans and then uh, you can buy the Aloha Moore spell. Yeah, you can't search this bookcase because behind there is actually the Incendio spell challenge, which that one was probably the most annoying spell challenge in the game, mainly for that platforming section at the end of it, which... Actually was kind of annoying, but once I get the yellow homework spell, we'll come in here and open that, so. Yeah, I mean, we've been going for 10 minutes already, so. Yeah. I just opened the door to walk into a black void. Is Harry going into a different dimension? Or did the game just glitch out? Harry just walks out the door like, where am I? 
This isn't Hogwarts. <laughs> Am I on the moon? <laughs> right, come on, seriously. That's one thing I find annoying about this game. The bloody load times are everywhere. There's another secret... Yeah, here we go. Here's a secret passageway. And in here is another... Uh, box you can open, along with uh, potions. I pick up the bloody card. I think there's like 101 cards to find and... For some reason, in Philosopher's Stone on PS2, it actually makes you look at every single... Like, when you pick up a card, it makes you look at every single one. And I, I could use a potion here, so I'm gonna... Give a potion vial. Fill that. Right. Yeah, hi. Harry, do you need to be so slow when you're doing that, Harry? Like, really? Right. Fill, right that fills health up to full. Right. Here's a tip for this game. Always come back to this uh, potion vial. Get Once you get the potion vial, fill... Fill your health. If you don't have health, get a potion vial. But I think you get one when you. I think you get one when you finish Snape's uh, class anyway. Just come up here and fill your potion vial and drink it and then fill it up again. Just, just to keep it handy. So, yeah, I'm gonna put. Um, what am I gonna put on? We'll put Scourge. We'll put the Findo back on the circle. And yeah, it has to whisper every single spell, which is actually. Which so Philosopher's Stone on PS2 doesn't actually do that, which I kind of like, because it gets kind of annoying hearing Defendo Every single time. It's a, it, it, it is kind of annoying, actually. There's another uh, area. Oh, yeah, this is what I was talking about in here. All right, Scourge. Like, like, does that really need to load? You open it, and then in here, it's not a wizard card. Look at this. A now bigger. Can carry more right. And then around here, I think it's just some. Yeah, just a jar of. What is it? Beans? Oh, it's empty. Okay then. <laughs> um, right, let me crawl out here. What's this? The fourth floor? I'm actually going to head up into Fred and George's shop. And buy the Alohomora spellbook. Or try to, because I hope the shop's actually there. There's one time I was playing Philosopher's Stone on PS2, I was standing on this floor and the stairway just and the stairs just refused to move for some reason. It was weird. But yeah, we're gonna head into the Gryffindor common room and into the Fred and George's shop. To buy the Alohomora spellbook. Yeah, in terms of football, Liverpool won 4-0. Did, did Liverpool win 4-0? I can't remember. I'll have to look that up. Hang on. What was the Liverpool score? Um, why can I not remember my own... Oh, yeah, Southampton. It, it was 4-0. We beat Southampton, I think. 4 Yeah, 4-0, Southampton. Van Dijk scored against them. That door is locked. Um, in here, I think it's just nothing but some locked doors. I think in there. There's a cl there's a classroom here. Come on. Hey. Any anything? Hey. I got lucky here. Okay, Harry. I'm kind of like the box is right there. Seriously, Harry. You blind or something? Speaking of blind, I think Aragog is actually blind. In the book, he has like, I think white eyes, but in the movie, um, he's he's blind. Which makes me wonder why he's a boss fight if he can't friggin' like if he can't see Harry, why is he a boss? That's something that annoys me. I mentioned that before, but oh yeah, I and mean, when you get a, uh, thirty uh, cards, your health gets an upgrade. Yeah, that's something that annoys me. Why, if Aragog never attacked Harry in the book or the movie, why is he a boss fight in the game? That doesn't make sense. I, I, I don't get that. There's nearly headless Nick. 
Yeah, and yeah, once I get a once I get a new copy of Prisoner of Azkaban on PS2, I will finish that series. Same with NHL 07. I kind of just want to get new copies of them just to get them out of the way because they've been on hold for way too long. And I'm actually going out on Friday, and there's Percy. Remember, funny about this game, if you try to. Nice one, Potter. Always said there was something about you. Ever considered a career in the Ministry of Magic? Nope, because I hate politicians. And if you work for the Ministry of Magic, you're probably going to be a politician. Because I hate politicians. I despise politicians. Because they're boring. And politicians in the UK are idiots, right? Have you seen the politicians in the UK? The stupid decisions they make? I don't even want to talk about it, right? Enough about politicians. Let's just enjoy this game. And yeah, there's a and yeah, if you stealth around in this game, Percy will be walking around in here and he will actually put a curse that locks your legs together. Like Percy is a douche. I I, I never liked Percy Weasley in the in this series. Can't stand him. Right, where's Yellow Homora Spellbook? Here it is. Look at the price. This is that's ridiculous. You know what? I'm buying it. Right. Bought it. Many beans have I got left? Twenty. Yeah, twenty beans. God, I love Fred and George. And yeah, Man United Chelsea ended one all, and I actually watched. Well, like I came down, I didn't watch it, but I came down and and I saw it was a minute and a half past injury time, and I was like, why is the referee not blowing the whistle? Like it's a minute and a half past injury time, blow the whistle, and then Chelsea went up the other end, and Rudiger blasted a volley over the bar from like literally near the penalty spot, and I was like. If that was anybody else, apart from Timo, if that was anybody else, that would have gone in. Unless you're Timo Werner, he he probably still would have found a somehow found a way to mess up, considering he misses everything. Yeah, he literally would have somehow still found a way to mess up. Is there a chest in here? Nope. All right, let's just go back out to exploring the castle then. But yeah, guys, I do really enjoy this game. It is one of my favourites on the PS2. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Rangers 1-3-1 as well. Two absolutely brilliant goals. And uh, LFC Gamer, if you haven't heard the new song for Fast and Zakala, it's basically like Shakira's 2010 World Cup song. But instead of This Time for Africa, the Rangers fans sing... He comes from Zambia. Because Fasa Sakala is from Zambia. And he, he's been banging in hat tricks for Zambia for like during the international break. He was banging in hat trick after hat trick for Zambia. And I was like, why is why did Gerard not start him against Hibbs? Like if he's smashing in hat tricks in international level, just put him in the team. And then maybe we, and then if he if he put him in there, maybe we wouldn't have ended up losing to Hibbs. And, and yeah, Rangers are actually playing Hibbs on Wednesday, and I think Liverpool play Everton on Wednesday? Yeah, they're already open. Why is every chest I... All these chests are already open for some reason. These classrooms look kind of cosy. I would actually like to just hang out in one of these classrooms. Anything in here that's not opened? I think Arsenal beat Newcastle 2-0. No, like, I'm, I'm not surprised Arsenal beat Newcastle. The last time Newcastle even scored at the Emirates was like 2013 or 2014. And I think in Philosopher's Stone, you go in there and you just... They, they, there's a thing where Peeves takes your book and then you just... He, you chase him up here and then you come in here and then he just gives it back to you. Which... Yeah, why was Peeves not in the movies? He was in the books and the game. Wait, why was he not in the movies? And there's nothing in here either by the looks of it. And yeah, but Scott Arfield scored a really good goal. He lobbed the keeper. 
and then he did his salute celebration. You know that salute thing he does when he scores? And then the referee booked him for some reason. Why are Scottish referees such pricks? You know what I mean? Sorry for sorry for sorry if that's a swear word, but it's true. Scottish referees are just well, yeah, well they're pricks to be honest. Like Rangers get blamed for everything. Like if a Celtic player does it, it's banter. If a Rangers player does it, he ends up getting arrested or something. I know that doesn't actually happen, but seriously, if you've seen the stuff that Rangers get blamed for, like seriously, even people that don't like Rangers have to admit the bias against Rangers is getting a bit is getting it's genuinely getting a bit ridiculous at this point. Like a guy who who was at Rangers was in a car crash once. He never made a single appearance for Rangers, and it said ex Rangers player involved in car crash. He never made a single appearance for Rangers. So how can you be an ex-player if you never played? Again, doesn't make sense. Seriously, the bias against Rangers is just ridiculous. It's genuinely getting ridiculous at this point. And yeah, that button, you press that button and it takes you back out. But yeah, there's so many really cool secret passageways in this game. It's so good. Yeah, ready for the longest staircase in Hogwarts? Besides, you know the one inside. Yeah, that's a long staircase, and it leads up here. Um, in here. Now this is satisfying. You buy a spell you've been wanting for ages, and you open it, and get that wizard card that's been in there that you've been dying to get for ages. I love it. I really need to stop saying that. Um, and yeah, there's locked. Why do they put all these doors here if you can't open them? Like, what's the point on that? Like, seriously. Yeah, that door's locked. That door's locked. I think this actually leads up into the Gryffindor common room. I think, but we're gonna we're gonna just go back down and keep exploring the castle. So yeah. Um, I don't think about it. Oh yeah, my local team Linfield won three 0 against who were they playing? Glen Avon. They won three 0 Um, yeah, good win. I watched it on BBC iPlayer. Because for some reason on BBC Northern Ireland they don't show it. You have to go on the iPlayer, which is just kind of weird. I mean, it's on the red button, and then you can just go on the iPlayer and just watch it. Yeah, the Irish League up here might be as bad as the Scottish League, if not worse. The referees in this league aren't aren't great either. I've seen some dodgy referee decisions in my time. Trust me. Um, anything in here? Yeah, I must have played this before because half these chests are already open. I must have opened them in the middle of the last play. I think we'll head outside for a little bit. Here's another secret passage. Yeah. Does it really need a two second loading screen just to go back to the... Just to go back to that... Just to go back to the game. Hey, hello, Hamora. Oh! Go on, Harry, get back up, get back up, get back up. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna go back down. And then just head back up. Yeah, this is the second floor. Uh, the girls' bathroom there. What's a secret passage? Oh, yeah, that's the one I was on earlier, I think. Anyway, back up to the fourth floor, I think I was on. Oh, no, the third floor, sorry. Friends against the Dark Arts. Right, switch the spell. I love the spells in this game, they're so much fun. Although the Incendio spell challenge. Is kind of annoying with that, you know, that platforming section where you have to inflame the uh, things under the platforms and then flip into it to get it up. And yeah, it's it's. I hate time sections in game. It's a, it's a time section and it is actually pretty. It's it, it's pretty annoying. So then you have to go into a room to hit the buttons and there's all these uh, 
things that shoot fire out of their, well, their butts, which is just kind of, which is actually kind of disgusting to think about. But you have to avoid those, hit buttons to, yeah, you have to avoid those and hit buttons to like get rid of the flames. And it's actually kind of annoying trying to figure out, like, you end up just running about all over the place, looking like an idiot. It's not fun. Hey! I always forget that uh, box is in here. Yeah, I was playing Philosopher's Stone on PS1. I actually really do like that game. I know a lot of people don't like that game. I really do like it. I think it's fun. I'm sure there's other people that love it just as much as I do. I mean, I that's one Harry Potter game that I grew up with. I mean, I have Prisoner of Azkaban on PS2, but as you know, I had a fat PS2. I think it must have been an original PS2, because after about two years it stopped working. It must have been an original PS2, because it's either me standing it up which caused it to not work, or the fact that it was just an original PS2, and those original PS2s are known to not really work well at all. So, yeah, I think we'll head outside for a little bit. I think I've done pretty much all we can. I've done most of the stuff here, so we'll head outside, and then we'll fly the broomstick for a little bit. I'll actually do one section. Hang on. We'll fly the broomstick for a little bit, because I love br flying the broomstick in this game. Although I do think they really could have calmed down with the load screens in this game. They're friggin' everywhere. And it's, it's it's kind of annoying. But that's the only annoying thing about this game. This is such a good game. And if, if you don't have this game, get it. It's bloody brilliant. One of the... I'd say one of the more... Nobody really mentioned this game. I'd say it's underrated. Hey, Harry. Hello, Neville. Why don't you just ramble on about yourself there? He hasn't even noticed how he's left. He's just too busy rambling about tapestries. <laughs> he, hasn't, he hasn't even noticed how he's just walked off and just left him. <laughs> oh, Neville was stupid in the original few movies. I remember the scene where... Um, remember the scene when McGonagall was explaining the, the houses and the rules of the, and the house. And the houses. And then she said, at the end of the year, everyone's... The house with the most points is awarded the house cup, and in the middle of that, Neville just yells, "Trevor!" Because he noticed his uh, his toad was sitting, standing like right at the front, beside McGonagall, and I was, and I was like, "Well, that's ironic." But yeah, look at that loading screen. Look at that. What a load screen! God, I love this game. We, well, fly the broomstick and then I think that'll do us. We'll just fly the broomstick around for a little while. But yeah, God, I love this game. So yeah, yeah, broomstick. Love it. Absolutely love this game. Yeah, look at Listen to the music in the place as well. Just listen to that. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at this. It can fly all around the castle. This this is beautiful, by the way. This this entire castle is designed beautifully. And yeah, there's little things you can do up here as well, like all these. You can send the old, all there's these platforms here. I'll stop here. These platforms. Well, you, you can use the incendio to light all of these, and if you get all of them lit before they all go off, you have to light all of them at a certain time, and if you do it, and if you get all of them turned on at the same time, you get a wizard card. It's it's really cool, and Harry's uh, either looking around, or I think he's saluting Scott Arfield. I think Harry Potter might secretly be a ranger supporter. Because <laughs> he just did the Arfield salute there. <laughs> But yeah, I'll just fly around, and yeah, I didn't, e until I started flying around, I didn't even know they put this in the game. Like, the boathouse. I, d I didn't even know they put this here. Like, seriously. 
until I started flying around. Yeah, when I started flying around, I did this. I was not like not gonna lie. I did this for like ten minutes straight or something. Like I was having that much fun flying around and just looking at the castle and the graphics. Like, look at this. Look at this place. All right, can you go up any higher? Avoid the roof. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Beautiful. Um, yeah, we've reached 30 minutes. I think that'll do for this vlog, guys. I've rambled on for half an hour, so I think I'll end it here. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.